Hi guys, it's Thomas here from cotbase.com. Welcome to this week's COT Review. Today we're going to have a look at the 42nd report of this year, and as usual we're going to start off with the changes in commercials positions. Let's have a look at those. Here we go, we've got cotton on top with a 25% change. Let's have a look at that chart. This time it's a sell signal. Uh, but last week we could uh, witness, or actually two weeks ago, we could witness a pretty large um, uh, buy signal uh, that uh, could push prices higher. So this time we have a sell signal. But uh, I wanna warn you guys that uh, the general picture in cotton, uh, as we've talked about it for a few weeks, is uh, mainly bullish. And if you look at the last week's uh, chart, in price action, there was a pretty decent uh, rally there. So if this is uh, really the top, or uh, I mean, sorry, the bottom in prices, but um, uh, an extreme uh, uh, that's going to be starting to move away, uh, then we could see prices higher actually in the next a couple of the weeks. Uh, let's move on to heating oil, where we had a 20% uh, change in commercial position, also a sell signal. And actually, we've got a 692 report extreme in small speculators' positions. We're going to talk about that and have a look at it on the longer chart. But first, uh, talking about the change signal, uh, it's definitely larger than average. Actually, I would believe it's somewhere uh, the second largest change in this one year time frame. Uh, and the extreme, let's have a look at the five year chart. Here we go. Uh, the extreme is there. You can see that uh, all participants are at extreme levels. Even let's have a look at the 10-year chart. Uh, it's going to be more visible there. Uh, we have an extreme in the market, so um, it's definitely a bearish picture. And I believe uh, anybody who's considering a short uh, trade, uh, there there is a very decent uh, resistance level, not far. So you want to uh, look at that also. Uh, moving on to coffee, a 19% buy signal. So opposite uh, to cotton here, we had uh, commercials uh, building up their net positions. and But also you can uh, witness that we, we can't see that same uh, rally in prices. So prices are still uh, in declining mood. Uh, but you can see that buy signal from the change size. Uh, I just want to show you the five-year chart to show you that how similar the picture is uh, to cotton. So you can see commercials net long. Uh, which is pretty rare on on this five-year chart, and that's definitely a bullish uh, picture. But we can't see prices uh, uh, going higher yet. But uh, similarly to cotton, the picture is bullish, and uh, we might be seeing uh, uh, higher prices soon. Oats, we had a 16% change there. We haven't talked about oats for a long time now. Let's have a look at that chart. Uh, we have that 16% uh, over here, larger than average, but we can see even much greater changes in the past. Let's open the five-year chart to see everything in a way wider perspective. Uh, well, we can't really talk about such an extreme as we saw in uh, in the heating oil or, or, or other markets. Um, so actually, I, I don't really want to talk too much about that. But I mean, the sell signal is significant uh, or uh, larger than average, so it could be uh, anybody considering a short uh, trade that uh, taking that uh, signal uh, is a good risk reward trade maybe maybe not the best uh, trading opportunity this week but we're gonna move on to cot extreme and large speculators maybe we're gonna see something uh, uh, good over there a nice opportunity again platinum on top with an all-time signal still that all-time we're just getting wider and wider but uh, we've seen prices uh, decline uh, and st they're still in declining mood and the extreme is still building up so it's really really nice uh, uh, trading opportunity. Uh, I just want to show you the 10 year chart again to see how extreme the market is. Huge. The extreme is there. Uh, it's a very good uh, opportunity. Uh, very high stress levels in the market. Let's move on to small speculator COT extreme. So we've got heating oil on top. We've opened, uh, we, we've seen that chart. We've got natural gas with a 67 uh, report extreme, not that high. Uh, let's open the chart for a moment, but um, I can't really see any commitments of traders uh, signals here at the moment, but uh, let's just have a look at the 10 year chart and I think that's going to be all for this week. Uh, small speculators are becoming really optimistic. That's sort of a bearish uh, uh, signal, but uh, we've still got some movement to really all time levels. Uh, large speculators are not at extreme levels, neither commercial. So. Uh, 
we have we, we don't really see a solid picture i think uh the uh, bullish mood can continue for uh, a few more weeks so that's going to be all for this week uh but if you would like to have a more uh, detailed analysis uh then uh, you can come to our page and check out our subscription service where you can add other great functions to your table or look at other cot report types like cit tiff disaggregated or other data types maybe you want to check the futures and options data uh, or if you just want to have a look at other cot charts you can do that for free at our uh, web page so that's going to be all for this week thanks very much for being with me i appreciate your attention i hope to see you next week take care bye bye